This is Twit. Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. IT Pro's new Cyber Skills is a training tool for all members of your organization. Get cybersecurity awareness training for non IT professionals and secure your business on all fronts. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro Enterprise Solution plan. The discount is based on the size of your team when you fill out their form. Secure your business. Visit go.acilearning.comslash twit today. Uh, the next one I want to mention is an app that you may have heard of. We've uh, talked about it on the show before as well. But as um, we are, as you know, as time goes on, you know, sometimes these apps kind of fall by the wayside and you may have forgotten about them. But also they bear mentioning again. And the app that I'm talking about uh that is a great reference app is called Night Sky. Night Sky is an app that lets you understand the sky above. So here I am in the app, and first and foremost, um, what I'm presented with is a kind of horizon line. And as I'm moving my phone around, you can, if you're uh, watching, you'll see me moving my phone. If you're listening, I am <laughs> moving my phone. And as I move it around, I can change the adjustment of my phone to see where in the sky I may find different things like the moon or the constellation Leo or some sort of, uh, let me get out of this. Um, there was a Starlink, a Starlink 5806, uh, I guess that I had tapped on. And so I have the ability to, uh, use AR if I'd like to, to see more about it. Now it's kind of hard to look around and not tap on a Starlink thing because Elon is constantly launching Starlink stuff. But what I was trying to tap on was this rocket body here, um, and learn more about whatever that is. But this is showing like a live orbit of these different objects in the sky. And I don't know, maybe it's too far away. And so I'm having trouble tapping on it. But I really wanted to see about that rocket body. In any case, um, what I'll do too is uh, swipe up and take a look at some of this other information. So it knows I'm in Petaluma. I gave it the ability to uh, know my location. And it says, uh, tonight in Petaluma, there are fair stargazing conditions. The best time to look up at the stars is six o'clock uh, p.m., I'm guessing. Um, and then you can learn a little bit more, including adding a adding to your calendar kind of a notification to say, hey, this is the best time uh, to look at it. I'm going to choose don't allow for now just so it doesn't get in the way. But you can see the different events. So the sun sets at 4.50 p.m. Um, Mercury, I guess that means Mercury moves out of you. I'm not sure. Um, there's a down arrow at 6.04 p.m. Do you know what that might mean, John? Mercury is always real close to the sun. Got, okay, so... so Barry, okay, that makes sense. So yeah, I, I imagine that that little, and I don't know how to uncheck a box, but anyway, um, you can also see the Starlink string moving across the ISS. You might be able to spot, of course, a lot of this is going to require a uh, telescope. And then of course, you've got the different um, constellations that you can view. You see the sunset, the sunrise, temperature, humidity. I mean, it's everything you need to know when it comes to being able to view different items, uh, different objects rather that are in the sky. There's a lot more to it. Um, so there is the ability to do these kind of live sky tours to view the night sky museum, um, to also do connected stargazing, which is where you and other people in, uh, you know, in the group can work together to spot different stars. Um, and, what I, what I think is great about this, though, ultimately, is that I could walk outside at night, um, especially if I go to a place that doesn't have a whole lot of light pollution, hold out my phone, move it around, and then look past my phone and see, oh, there's that star, that star, that star. Those connect, and that makes... Cam Camello Pardalis, which it, which doesn't look like a camel, but instead looks like a giraffe. Um, so that's interesting. Um, but I just think that's so cool that you know you've got this the the ability to just look into the night sky eh, and actually see the constellations and and spot them and know what they look like. Uh, so I really recommend checking out Night Sky. 
It's available uh, for free with in-app purchases that give you access to a lot more features. Um, Some of the AR stuff is locked behind uh, the purchase, but the basic features of the app you are able to use uh, with just the download. So a pretty cool app that um, if you've ever wanted to see some of the constellations or identify them, if you're going, I always thought that that was Ursa Major, but I was, I've never been sure. It is indeed Ursa Major. And since there's Ursa Major, which is also known as the Big Dipper, um, Ursa Minor is nearby. And we know that Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper, pour water onto... Draco, that's not Draco, that's Hydra. Where is Draco? Uh, Because they pour water onto Draco's tail. And so that's how you can kind of tell where the two dippers are. Um, So yeah, there are all of these little stories that exist in, there we go, there's Draco. Yeah, and so there's Ursa Minor. Uh, And then see, there's the tail between the two of them. Um, Very fun app, again, available for free in the App Store with in-app purchases for more features. 